You may not have heard much about selenium, but it's actually an essential mineral and a, an amazing nutrient for overall optimum human health and function. In this video, I'm going to tell you the benefits of getting enough selenium in your diet and the seven best foods to get it naturally. Yeah, you don't have to take a selenium supplement. I'm Dr. Ken Berry, a family physician with 20 years of clinical practice, and this video is about selenium. First, let's talk about the benefits of getting enough selenium in your diet. Number one, having a, a good supply of selenium in your diet almost certainly decreases your risk of developing some cancers. Now, the bulk of the evidence supporting this is observational in nature, so we can't say that there is a causation relationship here, but it is highly correlated with a lower chance of having cancers, including breast cancer, lung cancer, colon cancer, and prostate cancer. Now, you may be listening to that list saying, well, those are some pretty common darn cancers. Yeah, so you need to get enough selenium in your diet. Another benefit of getting enough selenium in your diet is a reduction in your risk of heart disease. Now, again, this is based on observational studies, but they're humongous studies. There are many of them. And a meta-analysis showed a 50% uh, increase in blood selenium levels led to a 24% reduction in the risk of developing heart disease. So that's a big deal. The next benefit of getting enough selenium is that it looks like it protects your mental function. Uh, Alzheimer's, dementia, these things are very scary words to us. Several studies have shown that patients with Alzheimer's disease have very low serum levels of selenium. So we definitely want to keep our selenium levels high if that's going to help protect us from Alzheimer's and other forms of dementia. Now, if anybody's watching this with hypothyroidism or Hashimoto's thyroiditis, you already know that selenium is very important for, for good thyroid function, for optimum thyroid function. Your thyroid uptakes selenium and has a very high selenium concentration in your thyroid tissue, and, and tissues in the human body don't concentrate minerals like that unless they need them. Uh, your thyroid uses selenium as an important step in, the, in making thyroid hormones. So if you have any kind of thyroid symptoms or an official thyroid diagnosis, you absolutely need to make sure you're getting plenty of the foods I talk about below that are very rich in selenium. Getting enough selenium in your diet helps to calm down chronic inappropriate inflammation and helps your immune system be as strong as it can possibly be. Before I talk about the seven uh, best foods that are, that are very rich in selenium, let's talk a little bit about selenium overdose or getting too much selenium. There's only been a very few cases of this documented in the medical literature in the entirety of human existence. People taking selenium supplements can sometimes get too much selenium. There's some uh, documented case studies of people ingesting t too many coco de mono nuts, which is a very high selenium nut, and they actually developed uh, selenium overdose symptoms. And then some, there's a few case studies of people eating too many paradise nuts and developing selenium symptoms, high selenium overdose symptoms. But now let's talk about, there, there are many studies in the literature of natives who are eating a, a just a natural whole food diet that is very, very high in selenium. And when we check their blood selenium levels, they, their levels are high, but they don't have any of the symptoms of selenium overdose. And so what it looks like is happening is if you're getting selenium from natural sources uh, that human beings have access to, then you, you're you either gonna have a normal selenium level in your blood, or you might have a little bit higher level, but you're not gonna have any of the symptoms of overdose. So rather than take a selenium supplement, I would highly encourage you to eat uh, a good assortment of the seven following foods. Food number one is Brazil nuts. One ounce contains 540 micrograms of selenium. That's a lot. Number two is any seafood, if it comes from the ocean and it used to swim around, it's gonna have a good supply of selenium in it. Seafood choices range anywhere from 40 to 92 micrograms per three ounce serving. So it doesn't take much seafood to get your daily supply. 
Pork, any cut of pork whatsoever is gonna have about 33 micrograms of selenium per three ounce serving. Uh, next is beef. Any cut of beef is going to have about 33 micrograms of selenium per serving. Uh, the next is turkey. Any cut of turkey is gonna have about 31 micrograms of selenium. Chicken is next on the list with about 25 micrograms of selenium per three ounce serving. And then finally, the, the lowly egg yolk. If you, for each egg yolk you eat, you're gonna get about 20 micrograms of selenium. And so you can, you can hear from the numbers on this list, it's not gonna take many of these uh, each day before you get your full daily uh, recommended intake of selenium. But wait, how much selenium do I really need, you might ask? And that's an excellent question. Let's talk about that. <clears throat> so any human being over 14 years of age needs somewhere between 55 and 100 micrograms of selenium each day. Uh, anyone who's nine to 13 years old needs from 40 to 55 micrograms of selenium a day. Any uh, young one from four to eight years of age needs about 30 to 40 micrograms of selenium a day. Uh, if you have a baby from seven months to three years old, they need about 20 to 30 micrograms a day. And a, a newborn up to six months, they need about 15 to 20 micrograms a day. And so you can see easily from the foods I mentioned above, if you eat one or two of these each day, you're gonna be getting your daily supply of selenium. So you don't have to waste money on that supplement any longer. I try to post at least three new videos on this channel each week. And so please take a second if you haven't already done so and click that subscribe button and the little bell button right beside it so that every time I post one of these new videos, you'll get a notification and you don't miss it. Also, as you can tell from this video and most of my other videos, I'm not really a big proponent of processed food or expensive supplements. So I'm probably never gonna be sponsored by big food or big supplement. So if you'd like to give me more time and resources to make videos just like this, click on my Patreon link. It's a super quick sign up. I put a link down in the show notes below. You can sign up and throw a buck or two my way so that I have all the time and resources I need to make videos just like this, just for you. This is Dr. Barry. I'll see you next time.